and G from alien coders and this video is based on alternative source of uh, CD DVD burning software instead of uh, Nero you can use IMG burn why I am emphasizing on IMG burn is because it's free of cost it's open source and uh, it's very small size rather than uh, uh, Nero is having around 300 MB file but it is around uh, 15 MB file so let's see the introduction part what is IMG burn it's a lightweight CD DVD or HD DVD blu-ray burning application although I have not tried uh, the blu-ray burning software but I have tried CD DVD HD DVD uh, it's working fine for that and uh, as of uh, general burning CD or uh, say burning software it will be having several modes like read build write verify discovery so read will read a disk if it is uh, empty or a full disk and build means it will uh, write the files or images directly to the disk so I will explain this uh, letter also and uh, it, it writes an image a file to a disk then it verifies that disk is 100% readable or not so you can test your drive uh, before uh, uh, before burning anything or uh, before making it an image software so uh, what, what was the main demerit of Nero was that I found I will not say that Nero is bad or uh, don't use that but uh, one thing I did not uh, like is when you install Nero it will install Nero player Nero photo viewer and uh, so many other applications which are uh, not of so much use because I use KM player or VLC player uh, to watch any movies or videos so why I will go for Nero player and I have already inbuilt uh, photo viewer why I will go for uh, this Nero photo viewer so the main purpose of uh, burning software should be CD and DVD burning so this software does what it says it just uh, burns the CD DVD and HD DVD so I found it very useful and how this uh, works so this uh, just uh, I say, uh, say it as uh, reads a disk and you can uh, save an image file as uh, .iso extension so you can create an image from the disk also suppose you are having an operating system disk of uh, windows or uh, linux say ubuntu 12 point or 14 point x6 so you can just make an image copy of it and you can save it in your uh, hard disk or you can directly make a copy of it to another uh, CD or DVD or if you are having uh, some folders files in your system and you want to make an image file of it it can very well make that image file so it can uh, write the image file to disk also it, it can write files and folder to disk also usually we will do we will be doing only these two uh, steps always so after that uh, it will check that if it is um, uh, written very, uh, properly or not or for any error it will check all these things so why IMG burn it supports almost all video and audio image formats it supports all latest drivers without any updates so you don't have to worry about uh, that in, uh, what's your uh, software version what are the operating system that you are using it supports almost all operating system but provided that if you are using it in Linux and Unix you need to use a wine application for this although I have tried in Windows OS and I am uh, very much satisfied with this software so it's easy to use uh, even for the novice and for the advanced users also they can customize the speeds layouts according to their needs and it's an open source but uh, what you will not find here is there is nothing like a DVD styling features like Nero and other uh, burning uh, software but I, I did not uh, found it much you know, uh, important although you can uh, use another third party tool for uh, DVD styling so there is uh, no inbuilt audio and video player which anyways you don't require so let's go to the official website of uh, IMG burn so this is uh, the official website of IMG burn here you will see that the current version is 2.5.7.0 and it released it uh, released on 29th March 2012 let's just start downloading it so go 
to link download and you can use any of these links but I will use uh, the link provided by IMG burn itself so see it's around 5.8 MB only instead of uh, like narrows which is of around 2 to 300 MB so let's save it once it is done I will uh, uh, install it and I will show you like how uh, it works for that we can go to the another PPT these are the history of uh, IMG burn so it got released on 4th October 2005 as uh, version 1 and the latest version is uh, 2.5.7 of size 5.8 you have already seen this is the official website and if you want you can download uh, through this link also I have already uh, uploaded this PPT in slide share so you can view from there also and uh, let's see I think it got downloaded so we can directly check how it works One more thing I found with Nero was uh, when I was trying to uninstall it, it was not getting uninstalled. So I will show you like uh, in program file how much space it takes. Go to Nero. Nero. See Nero 7 Ultra Edition. It takes 393 MB. Now I will show you after installing this MG Burn how much space it will take I think it is checking for uh, security yeah, it got installed now so just run it ok allow in windows 7 or vista it will ask for all those things so we just need to allow it then next accept the agreement next uh, whatever is by default let it be like that and I am installing it around at C program file IMG burn see it is saying space required is only 6.9 MB not like uh, 220 MB or uh, that 3 23 MB no don't install all these things because I don't require all these things so okay I will check it for newer version so it got installed now let's see how much space it takes here It takes only 2.92 MB instead of uh, 323 MB so you can imagine uh, how much space you can save just by using this application now let's go how this application works so when you will click on the exe file of IMG burn you will see something like this just close it it's not required as much and come here so at the top of the screen you will see write image file to disk write file folders to disk create image file from disk or create image file from files and folders or verify disk or discovery so uh, either you will be copying image files or file folder to disk or you will be uh, copying it from the disk to your uh, CD fr uh, from your CD to the hard disk so for any reason you will be using only these four things so um, if you want to, uh, to uh, write image file to disk just click on this so and find out where is that image file because uh, this is the destination for CD or DVD drive so just find out where is that uh, image file and uh, let's see if there will be some image file how it will be using it 
and I can't show you the real demo but I can show you like this if you will open it will take it so now if I will insert the disk I can uh, see that this icon will be enabled and after clicking on this it will start working so you can minimize or maximize the speed from here also if you uh, want around 4x or 2x just like Sony so you can use this otherwise uh, let it be like this and uh, how many copies you want to make from uh, this particular uh, files and folders so if you will click on 4 so you can directly make 4 copies of it one by one so that was uh, like one particular uh, one one step for this so in that in the same way you can uh, use another things also so let's see uh, what are the other features in this one we usually don't require uh, graph data but if you want to explore you can explore all these things and uh, this is the mode like read mode build mode write mode verify mode so now i have put in read mode we can uh, move uh, this c if it is read mode means there will be some cd inside this and we are going to read it or we are either we are going to make a copy from it or uh, we, we can directly watch it into our uh, into our hard disk so it will tell you like in which mode it is if you want to verify you can verify very well so what are the other tools you can uh, change the volume label or uh, what are the drives either you want to load any drive or eject any drive so you can do all these things from here also either create dvd file or uh, cue file or uh, you can just make the writing speed from here after putting the disk id which is generally not required and you will not uh, go at this level because it's whatever its main use is you will do that only so just open it again so you will i saw i showed you this one so now in the same way you can use write files and folder to disk also create image file from disk or create image file from files and folders if you will click on this so you will have two options either files and folders if you know that uh, that will be a file only you can click on this if you know that that will be a folder which will con uh, contains another folders and files so you can click on this and you can save it here like uh, say downloads and i clicked on here or you can do one thing you can uh, select all the files and folders in your hard disk and you can uh, do drag and drop also suppose i have some files here and uh, i want to copy it like this one this one this one and this one so i will just drag and drop to the img burn thing and i will just put it here so now again if there will uh, cd will be inserted into that cd tray so it will you will see this enabled and after clicking it will start again so I hope you will enjoy this software and uh, you will try this software. If you like this software, uh, just put a comment or just uh, put a comment in my website or at YouTube also, wherever you feel you feel uh, okay. So this was all about IMG Burn, and if you like uh, our video tutorials, you can join us at Alien Coders. You can uh, like our page on Facebook just type alien coders or you can follow us on uh, twitter again just type alien coders all our youtube videos are hosted at user just thanks for watching